This job is not for the faint-hearted. The workplace is 69 meters up and the tools have to be hoisted with a winch. It's five degrees below zero Celsius. The maintenance men hope the cold hasn't damaged this wind turbine's electronics. We have plenty of repairs, maintenance. We don't actually have more work, but if a pump breaks, for instance, we fix it or replace it. This mechatronic specialist used to work in the manufacturing end of the business. After my training, the question was, what next? The economic climate meant there were no production jobs available. Then someone in personnel put a word in for me, and I switched to service and maintenance. Last year, their employer, Nordex, received fewer orders than expected. So the wind power equipment supplier focused above all on reinforcing its service team. One hundred fifty kilometers further north, in the city of Rostock on the Baltic coast, Nordex produces sixty-five meter long rotor blades for its wind turbines. Here, not much is done by hand anymore. Nowadays, specialized machines do most of the work. Plant manager Rolf Bütje invested in new technology to remain cost competitive. The switch to industrial production took place during the last 10 years, coupled with internationalization and globalized competition that will certainly make things difficult for us if we aren't quick off the mark. Robots now paint the rotor blades. The employees now just control the robots to make sure they do what they're supposed to do. So basically, this whole paint shop is run by a staff of two. The employees think business will pick up again. The earlier boom was a lot bigger, more workers were hired. That's starting again, slowly. But you can tell it's not the way it was two or three years ago. The maintenance crews are outdoors all year round because no matter how cold it is, the wind turbines have to be serviced every six months.